All right, good morning, Greenwood Middle School. Uh, I'm Officer Eck with Greenwood Police, one of your uh, school resource officers. And with me here is Officer Burnett, also with the Greenwood Police Department. We're here to talk to you guys this morning about Red Ribbon Week. It's an exciting time uh, to be able to talk a little bit to you guys about the impact of drugs and the consequences they might have. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit, um, ask a few questions, and have some answers for you, okay? So, AJ, if you want to go with the first question. Yeah, absolutely. We were asked, what exactly is a drug? Well, a drug's a substance that can change your personal mental state, your physical state. It can also affect the way your brain works, how you feel and behave, your understanding, your senses, and can also make you extremely un unpredictable and dangerous. Right. Now, there's different kinds of drugs, obviously. Some of them are prescribed by your doctors, you know, um, to help with some ailments that you or your parents, uh, grandparents might be experiencing. So those, those are drugs that are often um, used to relieve certain conditions. The drugs that we're more concerned with on the street are the illegal substances, um, for example, marijuana, um, meth, cocaine, and so forth. Also in that same category are those prescription drugs. Sometimes the painkillers are a really big um, problem um, in the wrong hands. So um, AJ, I think we deal with just as many illegal prescribed um, substances as we do the other ones like marijuana and so forth, don't we? Absolutely. So those are, those are also very dangerous um, to have in the wrong hands. So uh, definitely want to stay away from those. Okay. So let's talk about the legal consequences of if you were to be caught in possession of um, an illegal substance without a prescription. Uh, AJ, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on with the legal consequences of that? Yeah, absolutely. So it's very possible that you could face jail time. Um, it's very possible that you can face a large fine. And along with the fine, also you have legal fees that could definitely put you in your finances in trouble. Right. So not only are there, you know, legal consequences to having that, you're going to, you know, if you guys, if a student was a student athlete and playing on the basketball or football team or, you know, soccer team or whatever it might be, um, you're likely to be kicked off of that team and not allowed to play any extracurricular activities for your school. So um, not only is there a legal standpoint, there is definitely a, a school standpoint also. Um, possessing anything in the school is obviously not only illegal, but it's against school policy. So you'll face um, consequences on both ends. So if you are in possession and get arrested for that possession of whatever it might be. Um, you can go through the court system, but then the schools will also um, either suspend you or expel you um, and could keep you off of any sports teams as well. So the whole consequence of even possessing or taking part in um, using any kind of illegal drugs is is really quite serious when you look at the whole situation okay so that's where we're at on that now how do people get involved in even the thought of using illegal drugs a lot of it i think um aj is is peer pressure you know, peer, absolutely peer pressures um brought on by your classmates your friends um Explain to us a little bit about what peer pressure is. Yeah, so peer pressure is any type of pressure that you're feeling when someone pushes you to do something, whether it be to fit in, whether it be to please somebody. Um, and peer pressure can be a good thing, but it also can be a, a negative thing, Officer Eck. Absolutely. And I tell people all the time, everybody thinks that peer pressure is something that just you kids deal with. Um, that's not really true. We deal with peer pressure, you know, every so often as well. 
I've got friends that might make bad choices and might ask me to do things that I just know morally I, I'm not going to do. So I've got to be able to stand up for my for what I believe in and walk away from that situation. You know, be strong-minded, stay true to your values, and, you know, most of your parents have taught you right from wrong, and the schools, the teachers have taught you, you know, right from wrong. Be able to stand up for your values and walk away from, you know, that temptation of doing something illegal or wrong that might get you in trouble. Um, like I said, it's, it's very prevalent at your age here in the middle school. It gets even worse, unfortunately, at the high school. Um, peer pressure can be um, pretty um, serious at the, at the high school um, because you're trying to fit in and a lot of people will do things to just, they know is wrong just to fit in with a certain group. So um, again, just stick to your values and you know, say no to those situations that you know you don't stand for, okay? Anything else we have to say on that, Officer Burnett? What about talking to somebody who you trust if you feel pressured, Officer Eck? Well, the best way to get to some sort of resolution there would be to talk to somebody that you trust um, and value their opinions also. They can often help you, um, you know, guide you through that troubled time and maybe help you understand that your um, your stance on that issue is is valuable and probably more appropriate than having to choose the other direction. So would you say that some good resources for that would be extended family, teachers, counselors, clergy, and maybe maybe your maybe coaches? Right. Any kind of role model is would be a good person to go to um, if you had a feeling that you're being pressured to do something that you're not supposed to do or that you know is wrong, uh, reach out to people. That's, that's the big thing. Um, kind of lean on your friends, lean on those, those people like Officer Burnett said, uh, a teacher, a counselor. That's what the counselors are here for, is to help guide you through some of those troubled times. And as you guys are starting to learn and grow more and more, you're still rather immature in some aspects and that's why we have you know the counselors and um, other people even us SROs you guys should feel feel comfortable coming to us just pull us aside if we're here pull us aside and ask us to talk for just a few minutes any of us will be more than happy to help you through you know give you some guidance in, in anything that you need so don't hesitate at all to contact us if if you're if you know something's going on here at the school, you know, if you know, you know something bad's going to happen, be sure to speak up and say something to one of us or one of the counselors or one of the teachers, um, so that we can help keep this school safe and keep the students safe also. Social media, Officer Eck. Social media, yeah, it's um, it's very dominant in today's society. Back when I was going to school, I didn't even know what a laptop was. So, um, much less what the internet was. Can you guys believe that? That there was no internet when I was your age. <laughs> so, social media is uh, very dominant, especially in the middle school and high school age kids. Um, it can persuade you to do things that you shouldn't do. We've had some problems here at this school with some recent TikTok challenges. Um, when you see a TikTok challenge come out, you guys, most of those are trying to get you to do something that is wrong or illegal. And it's just common sense to me that you just wouldn't do it. However, the peer pressure again sets in and causes people to um, think they're going to try to stand out from the crowd and do something silly like that. So um, social media, all the sites, um, you need to be very careful. Um, talk to us a little bit about, you know, the dangers of some of the social media sites with, you know, even 
um, possible child abductions and stuff like that, which could lead to that. Yeah, absolutely. And I have that on my list here, and we'll kind of go over some stuff on how to deal with social media. Respect yourself. Show off how great you are and represent yourself accordingly on social media. Social media can and does play a major role in building and ruining personal images. Post with positivity. If you don't have anything good to say, don't post. Avoid ranting or arguing with people on social media and posting when you're upset. Share positivity and good vibes on the web. Know your followers. Allowing strangers to follow you can be very dangerous. Even if their account looks harmless, be aware that there are many fake accounts that are created as a way for bad people with ill intentions to follow teens. Also make sure to use your privacy settings to protect your accounts from being viewed by strangers. Be careful what you post for likes. You don't want to end up insta-famous for something that could destroy your future. Keep your posts positive and dignified. Don't compromise your future for likes or followers. Play nice. No one has the right to harass anyone based on their sex, race, age, orientation, personal beliefs, values, etc. Avoid engaging in cyber brawls. These can and too often become deadly. If anyone is saying things about you on social media, report their account and let a trusted peer or adult know. Think before you post. Nothing is ever truly deleted, so be sure about what you post before you hit the post or send button. Once you post a picture or a status, it is stored on that site's server and can normally be retrieved even if, even if you delete it from your profile. If you see something, say something. Report anything inappropriate. Block or unfollow people that post negative comments on your timeline, make you uncomfortable, or harass you in any way. Manage your use wisely. Too much of anything can become a bad thing. Try putting time limits on your social media usage to make sure it is not impacting your productivity. And do not post your every move. Leave some information to share with your real friends and family. Also be careful sharing info when you are going out of town. It's very possible that you may alert a potential burglar that you will be in the Bahamas for a week with your family. Yeah, that could lead to you coming back to an empty house. Which so happens more happens. times than not. We've had houses broken into, pets stolen. Can you imagine if your pet was stolen from your house, how devastating that would be? So the bottom line is social media, while it's a great tool for interacting with friends and family and all that, it can be a very dangerous tool also that's used by predators and other people looking to harm you. Having 2 million followers on Instagram isn't very smart. You might know 200 of those 2 million. You should keep your social media accounts as close to private as you can and knowing who's following you and only following those people that you interact with is, is usually the safest way to go about it. So be smart with social media. It's gonna be out there, it's gonna be with us forever and just be smart right absolutely so um another question we get asked quite a bit officer burnett is i've got friends that are i know are using drugs and i feel like they're harming themselves and maybe getting a little too far into it how do i report somebody that even if it's a family member to how do i report them to the police so that i can maybe get them help well, obviously, first, you want to share your observations with your family. See if they're seeing what you see. Right. If they agree, if they see and or agree that there's a problem, try to find out who's going to talk to that person about it. If there's, if, if they're still not willing to get help after talking with a family member or a friend, contact a substance abuse professional, mental health professional, doctor, guidance counselor, or clergy to help them speak with the individual. Those are all good answers. Um, what if what if I know my friends are 
starting to smoke cigarettes or starting to vape. You know, that's something we see a lot here in the middle school and high school that kids are starting to experiment with things or, or maybe even some alcohol usage. Um, you know, those, all those things there can adversely affect your mindset also. Um, would it, would it be safe for me or wise of me to approach my friend and talk to them just individually about it and see, you know, why they're doing it and maybe try to convince them to stop doing it? Absolutely. I think that goes back to what we, what we talked to or spoke about a little bit earlier with the peer pressure, look for positive peer partners, set limits and say no. Okay. Talk to someone, talk to a trusted adult if you feel pressured. Right. And I know you guys are going to hear from uh, the nursing staff also about the effects of, of these substances on your body. So we'll leave that to them. But, you know, ultimately Red, Red Ribbon Week is just about, um, you know, awareness of drug abuse, alcohol abuse. And it's, it's a really good week to sit down and talk to somebody about it. So if, if you are experiencing something yourself where you've, you've fallen victim to um, experimenting with something, you know, I would challenge you to uh, talk to somebody about that to get you a little bit of help because, um, you know, having a substance, whether it's alcohol or drugs, nicotine or vape or whatever it might be, to influence your behavior without a doctor's prescription is 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 pretty dangerous and um, it's just not real smart. So, again, Officer Burnett and here and I are here quite a bit during the days. Um, other officers are here. Feel free to talk to any of us about this. If you have any more questions regarding anything about this, you know, please feel free to to talk to us about it or. If you don't feel comfortable with us, talk to counselor or teachers. You guys have a wealth of resources here in this building alone. Uh, that's everybody wants to see you guys succeed. Everybody's here to help you guys. So uh, feel free to reach out to any of us, your parents or whatever, to um, ask us any more questions regarding this. So I guess that's about it. That's about all the questions we have for today. Um, do you have anything else to add? I don't I think we covered a, right. a wide variety of topics. Today. Should be good to go. So thank you guys for your time and, and have a good week.